Battle of Usewitz, the first gameplay trailer released here from Codemasters for F1 2016. And yes, it is recorded at 30 frames per second. Let's take a look. Right, so we get the DRS open and start the lap here in Baku. Massive long straight out of the last corner. Now we're looking to the uh, starting line. Here it is. And then straight away hard on the brakes. Down five gears for 90 left. At turn one, third gear and then straight into a 90 left turn two as well. Important to get a good exit because it's a very long straight now. Down to turn three. Difficult to pick out the braking point. Which I've just done there. And then into a 90 right, turn four. It starts to get a little bit tighter now. Pick out another braking point. Got a little left right chicane. Try and get a good exit from there. Use a little bit of curb. And now we come into the real city section here. This is where it starts to get properly tight. Right hander, just keep it out the wall. And then up this crazy hill here, the old cobble street, through a winding chicane, and back on the power. Now this is a very, very quick section coming down the hill. Got a flat out kink, just, and then another flat out kink, and then pick a braking point somewhere around there. For the le left hander, second last corner, really. And then the final proper turn. The left hander there, a bit of runoff, and then hard on gas. And now we've got a couple more to watch out for. A flat out kink here, and then a last flat out kink that's going to catch our attention. Get on the DRS. The long old straight again and complete the lap. So that was the uh, Jolian Palmer there racing round in his Renault, who have had a pretty hopeless season so far, hoping he has a, a better chance at Baku. Uh, I think I noted straight away, but as soon as I slapped eyes on the video, that it was recorded at 30 frames per second, which is a bit strange. Also, they've recorded the video in evening conditions, which uh, greatly affects it. It means everything's in a shadow, and there's no lights over this circuit, so it's all very dark. It just seemed to be a strange way to show it off. But either way, uh, the circuit's quite long every lap. It's certainly going to be quite taxing for the drivers. I guess much like Singapore in that way, but in that, that sense, there's also a lot more undulation in the course as well. You can see the up and down sections there you know around the, the castle and everything and then that high speed downhill section you're going to need to be quite committed to that it's going to be quite a, a workout for the drivers this is interesting i'm going to jump now into the second video uh, you'll check that out and you'll see a, a lap from daniel ricardo as well but um that's it from me for now as ever more soon